We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to break out to newer highs and breaking through key resistance levels. And in today's volatility, our SPY buy at 7.30 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows cross the midpoint to the upside, full strength on 42 vision, and call options went up 300% plus within an hour, guys. And as you see it poppy up there within the screen, within the options chain, some options even went higher than that. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index trying to hold support above the resistance of 433 and we're going to break down the key levels i would watch going into next week but before we do I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our AMD bot. Our AMD bot sent out a bull indicator at 10 a.m. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside, full strength on 42 vision, and call options went up 400% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots. And we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump to these charts. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to push up higher here and continuing with bright green bars, right? It's done a full transition from red bars to bright green bars for the last several days as you see it here within the charts. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index under a bull indicator since down here at the 411.60 area. Full transition there from the dip area to the rip area from Friday to Monday. And then full strength here for the rest of the week, right? Consecutively hitting those bright green bars. And the last three days have been full strength here on 42 vision. That bull indicator has been strong since the 411 area on the 30 minute chart. But not only here, also when we zoom out and look at this from the one hour, we could see in the bigger picture how a bull indicator popped up at the 413 level. Full strength here on 42 vision from the dip area to multiple rip areas in the bigger picture and continuing to hold here above the key resistance and supports, right? Now, the highest that it reached today was 436, slightly pulled back a little bit, and we need to look at the inflow versus outflows and bull and bear indicators to see what's going on and if they justify any further strength going into next week and that's what we're going to take a look at in today's video and what key levels i would watch now here we also have in the volatility of the 15 minute how things have been under a bull indicator since down here on wednesday at the 416 level 
continuing that staircase effect no bear indicator popping up and bright green bars dominating within these charts now we're going to take a look at the inflow versus outflows and what key levels i would watch going into next week so here we are with the spy stock the s p 500 index having a sharp drop here in the second half of the day with its inflows going from way up here at 542 all the way down towards 0.89 right from 5.42 all the way down towards the midpoint and if this crosses it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts and possibly get a bear indicator in that volatility that's something i'm going to be watching very carefully and every time it's gotten close to the midpoint it has come right back up right throughout this week even when it's crossed it it quickly comes back up this is the sharpest drop that we've seen in one single day into the close right it took two days between aftermarket hours and pre-market the last two days to do such a sharp drop it did it right here towards the end and right now in the after hours it is sitting sideways it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to stay above the midpoint and bring themselves back up to justify any further strength and retest of key resistance levels in these charts definitely something i would not ignore especially with multiple bull indicators and no bear indicators just yet now if we zoom out and look at this from the one hour in the bigger picture outflows have began here as well but inflows are still well above the midpoint something to not ignore here at 6.77 and it's currently sitting sideways again here in the after hours and bright green and under a bull indicator since down at the 413 level right since way down here and we're currently sitting at around 435 some of the highest levels that we've seen in this reversal and run up throughout this week now when we zoom into the volatility within the 15 minute we could go ahead and see here how these inflows are fighting to stay above all day today right it actually hit the midpoint in the pre-market pulled away from it hit highs here of 6.02 6.05 and then it brought itself back down sharply to the point that outflows have crossed guys this is the first time that outflows cross and stay below since way back on tuesday and monday right so there's been moments when it goes below it but it brings itself back up this is the first time it's sitting flat in the after hours in the last several days and that is something i would not ignore now what are the key levels i would watch well the first thing is support guys if these outflows continue to the downside and roll that weakness over into the 30 minute bringing it towards the midpoint or even crossing it the first support level i'll be watching is the 433 level if that weakness starts to reflect into these charts and a possible bear indicator pops up the next support i'll be watching is 430 and then below that is the 428 to 426 level. So these are the key levels I'll be watching to the downside, to the upside. It's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to pick back up here on the 15 minute. Start to reflect that strength into these charts and roll that strength over into the 30 minute chart as well. Pushing back up these inflows from red to green away from the midpoint. And the first resistance is the 436 level. Then above that is 438. And based off the history of the chart, the next resistance I'll be watching is the 440 area. So these are the key levels I'll be watching to the upside and to the downside. The bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial. And the inflow versus outflows, I would not ignore them as they're really close to the midpoint here on the 30 minute. And they've crossed to the downside on the 15 minute. And it's going to be crucial and critical to justify any strength to the upside for these inflows to pick back up and cross over the midpoint as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money